Hey folks, Adam here, hope you are well. In this week's video, drones. Okay, so these days every wedding film company is offering drone services of some description. Maybe not every company, but there is a lot doing it. And I know a lot of my couples or potential clients that I meet, one of the first questions they ask is, do you offer drone? Or we've seen that shot on your video, like can we have the drone at our wedding? It's one of the first things that a lot of couples ask for. So it's popular, it's in demand, and let's face it, it, it does look freaking amazing. But, but you've got to do it right. So here's a few tips for getting the best out of your drone, specifically for wedding films. First things first, it's got to fit the story, it's got to make sense. As, as wedding filmmakers, we're all striving for this kind of cinematic, storytelling kind of film. So with drone, that's no exception. If you're going to include a drone shot, it's got to fit the story. You aren't making a commercial drone video, you're making a wedding film. It's purely just another tool to get you a certain kind of shot that is going to add to your film, that's going to add to your story. And the, the, the fading, opening, epic drone shot is getting a bit overused in wedding films. It, that's not going to matter to the couple. Like The couple won't mind. They, they'll just think it's amazing. It's a great way to tell that side of the story and to let the viewer know where the wedding's taking place. If you want to reflect the grandeur or the scale of the venue, say you're shooting in an epic castle or you've got a destination wedding and you really want that impactful, epic shot of the scenery, it's gonna tell the viewer where the wedding's taking place, it's gonna engage the viewer, etc., etc. So it's great for an opening shot, it's great for a scene setter, it's great for those epic kind of sweeping shots, but make sure you use it wisely and you use it sparingly. Commercial drone film, yeah, go crazy. Wedding film, couple of shots, don't overdo it. I know it's tempting, but just don't. The second tip, and this might just be personal preference, but in my opinion, I, I would never film the drone when there's guests around, when there's people around. Um, so I would be careful filming scenes with the drone where there's gonna be wedding guests in the shot. Because you can guarantee that there's gonna be someone that'll hear the drone or spot the drone and go, Whoa, drone, look, and pointing, and that straight away, that's killed your shot. You'll get back into the edit later and you'll be able to see it. That's not the shot you want. So I only ever do it for scenery. I don't include people. I know some companies will film the bride and groom doing the portrait session with the drone. That's fine, but just I wouldn't film over crowds of people because you're gonna get one going. And of course, vary, vary up your shots, um, get some bird's eye view looking down over shots, get some moving forward or backwards, some up and downs, come from behind trees to reveal venues, that kind of thing. Get creative with it, get whatever shots that you want, but just be mindful of story and of guests, etc. The last thing I'll say as well is um, I would recommend shooting in 30 frames per second. You're probably going to export your film in 24, 25 frames a second, but by shooting the drone in 30, you've then got room in post to slow the footage down by 10, 20%. And then once it's exported out at 24, 25 frames a second, you'll have those extra few frames to play with and your footage will just look buttery smooth and it'll look like you've flown it really steadily and smoothly. The last little tip, and this isn't exclusively for drone, I do this with my cameras on a wedding as well, is you get the drone up and you're shooting some scenery, anything that's, if you're shooting a venue or some scenery, anything that's not gonna have any movement in it, you could just take a picture, you know? Drones, drones are great tools for taking photos as well, so if you just wanted a still, steady shot of the venue, and you know there's gonna be no movement in that frame anyway, you could just take a picture of it, and when you blend that into the edit later on, you wouldn't even be able to tell it's a photo, it just looks like a still bit of video. And I do this um, all the time at weddings with my cameras, so it makes sense to transfer that trick over to drone footage as well. So that's just a few little things that I do. Hopefully you found this useful and you can apply some of those yourself. If you, if you shoot with drone and you've got your own little tips or comments, please leave them below. If you did find this video useful, please, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will see you in the next one.